Well, he <laughs> has been brilliant, though. I mean, anyone who you probably can can can, can uh, agree with me anyone who lives with it yeah. <laughs> deserves a medal quite frankly and uh, you know i just some days I've, I've i've you know we've spoken a lot about this and actually we've become more open and i would say to heal all the kids i just need to hibernate i right. just just give me some yeah. time give me a bit of space there's this just this yeah. fog over me at the moment yeah. i just need some time i don't want to upset people but at the same time i need you to understand yeah this is this is how I'm feeling, and actually mm. everyone's been and so understanding. One of the things we, we, you do about what three, four classes, yeah. of personal training classes a day, or, or, and, or, other or classes, and, and other yeah. things. Yeah. Well. So she's doing what a professional athlete would do most days of in course. terms of training. So she's come back feeling a bit tired, you know. And I said, well, <laughs> yeah, well, it could be due well, to you that. Would be, yeah. It could be due to you know, is it vitamin D? You're getting older. Vitamin D, <laughs> uh, diminishing youth. Uh, vitamin okay. D deficiency, <laughs> iron deficiency. So so that there were various possibilities. Of course. So I encouraged her to go and see her G. Mm. Um, and um, you, you know, investigations. And of course, all of out. those things were fine. Yeah, yeah. So knowing that they they were okay, then the next thing was, well, what's the matter with me? And mm -hmm. I then spoke to my mum, who then said to me, well, actually, my symptoms started at 42, and my my, my menstrual cycle finished when I was 45. And I thought, oh, okay. Uh, so that must be you know, what's happening to me, whether it's mm -hmm. genetic or, mm. or whatever, that must be what's happening to me. So she reassured me. It's good, it's good um, to have those conversations. Absolutely. And that's what we're trying to do as well, isn't it? Mm. To yeah. get everybody talking about it. Because yes. we don't. We need to. I think I women... When, when the five of the, the, the ladies were all together on the day of the test, afterwards we just said we felt so empowered being yes. able to talk about it, being able to, yeah. you know, talk about our symptoms and not mm. be ashamed and mm. not wonder why, you know, and the feeling of guilt and, and just being able to talk to our partners yeah. and our families and our children. And what you said about, you know, there was no joy in your life at times. Mm. Uh, and so many women Horrible. have contacted us and said, oh, that's exactly how yeah. I yeah. felt. But, but, but I think coming back to the blood test, um, it would be so easy for doctors to say, oh, you're depressed, have an antidepressant. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you know, you're deficient mm. in this, have some nutritional supplements. But until you find out, you don't know what you're, 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 you're treating yeah. rationally. And mm. I think it's really important to explore all that do a questionnaire, look at all the symptoms. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and maybe if you can twist your doctor's arm to do a blood test, because the guidelines are just guidelines. Doctors they don't have to follow them. That's true. Doctors can use their discretion. And it's like what Dee was saying, though, it's that sense of relief. Yes. When you know, when you can actually say, oh, so it's that. And now I can And now I can do something about yes. it. I can do, use lots yeah. of different choices, as we know. There are many yeah. choices absolutely. that you can... It doesn't have to be HRT. It can yeah. be lots of other things, too. And one of the yeah. things we must do at some point is talk about the HRT and who can and can't take it, because yes. there are so many myths out there. A lot of women have been told they can't take We've it. Had a lot of response but it's that. it's different. We know a lot more about it now and a lot more women can take it if they want to and if it's appropriate. And then obviously we should talk about the male menopause as well. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that? Yeah, exactly. But it does, it does affect men, it has to be said. It does affect in them in, in many ways, in many ways. Dee, it's lovely to see you. You too. Really you good. Too. Thank it's you. good to see you with your sparkle back Thank as well. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.